security or household water security, which is really the focus of my research, is something that has not been researched or not been investigated in developed countries. Broadly, water managers in the United States have a myth that everyone is universally served. Not only universally served, but equitably served. And what we see when we dig a little bit deeper is that that's not necessarily true. I actually have been going to the lower Rio Grande Valley of Texas, so to South Texas, since I was an undergraduate. And I've been very interested in the question of poverty, housing, quality, environment. Um, so the first objective was to conduct qualitative research. Um, to begin to have a larger discussion about what is water security and how is it experienced among these communities. Now, water security is um, affordable, adequate, and reliable water for a healthy life. The way this project furthered that definition was to really think about it analytically in three different dimensions. So water access, which is the physical access to water, the ability to pay. Water quality, which in this context is really about uh, at the point of use. You also just look at the landscape. 87% of the households received 50% or more of their drinking water from water vending machines. So once you started to talk with residents about how they accessed water, who accessed water for them, what challenges did they run across, you started to see an entirely different type of experience to household water security than someone may have imagined coming from the outside. On the one hand, you had expanding infrastructure, but on the other, you had an increase in water vending machines. So my question was, why is that happening? So until we have a measurement to really then gauge the type of problem, the extent of the problem, our policy interventions would be ineffective. And so the critical point here is to develop a socially, scientifically, and very sound measurement so that we can then document, discuss, and then create these policy interventions. This research could not have happened without the dedicated and long-term commitment Texas A&M University has had with the Colonias communities on the border. The Colonias program, and in particular, the people working in the Colonias program have provided an essential foundation for our ability to work in collaboration with these communities and with the residents. The goodwill of Texas A&M and the work that they've done in improving the lives of fellow Texans on the border is really incredible. And it was on that foundation that I was able to uh, generate important and good information.